Hello there, Tom here from Wheeler Automotive. Today, showing you around another stunning convertible. This one is a BMW 640D. It's a 2012, it was re registered in September 2012. Um, I absolutely love these cars. I've, I actually had a a 640D Grand Coupe as my own car, which I ran for a few years. One of the best all-round cars um, I've ever had. Um, and this one, very similar. Obviously, as you can see, it's the, the two-door convertible. Um, it's got a full service history. I've got 10 stamps in the service book. The last one, just a couple of thousand miles ago. Um, it's only had three owners from new. Um, the condition is excellent all round. There's a couple of very minor marks on it, as I will show you. Um, yeah, all round a, a really cracking car. Start, stops and drives exactly as it should. I absolutely love these engines. I mean, they're super reliable. Um, these are very fast cars, but also really, really good on fuel. It's quiet with the roof up. Um, yeah, just a cracking car. But uh, let me show you around it. So... Up on the front end, we don't have any scuffs or scratches on this near side bumper corner. Both the headlights are crystal clear. We've got a couple of very small stone chips on the on the front of the bonnet, sort of as you would expect. But the bumper itself is in really good shape. Another crystal clear headlight. There is a little scratch right down low. Just under here, look which is so far around and not that noticeable. I've decided just to leave it rather than try and paint the bumper for that. But uh, offside front wing, excellent overall condition. There is a very faint scratch just here, which goes into the door, which is so light. I'm, I've got someone coming around to buff that out because that, that's such a faint scratch that'll come right out. Um, these 20 inch wheels just suit this car so well. I've just had all four wheels uh, refurbished, so they've come up as new. On the front axle, we do have a pair of Goodyear Eagle F1s. They are run flats. And the fronts, I'd say, are probably about half worn. You can see there's still plenty of tread on them. There's lots of life left in the fronts. Um, but yeah, all four wheels are, are basically as new. I put new center caps in as well. Driver's door. Obviously we've got those faint scratches at the front of it, but they'll be taken care of. And then we've, the other thing we've got on the driver's door is this little, little dent and mark here where it's probably just knocked into something when someone's opened it. But otherwise it's good, all the wing mirrors are good. There's no um, chips or cracks in the, in the glass. Have replaced the, uh, wiper blades because one of them was knackered this car has just been i just had it mot'd yesterday and uh it passed without any advisories so it's got a 12 month ticket on it the offside sort of rear quarter is excellent there's no marks on that at all again we've got another they're a bit dirty where i've just been and got the car valeted and the roads are awful, so there's a little bit of dirt on it. But uh, So on the rear, we've got a pair of Pirelli run flats, which are worn about the same as the front. So we've got about a half worn set of tires all round. But yeah, wheels have come up really well, very pleased with those. There is again a very faint scuff on this quarter, which, um, on this corner rather, which again, my, my guy's going to come around and buff that out, so that will be gone. And then the actual rear of the car is in super condition, as is the boot lid. There's a couple of little marks where stuff's gone in and out of the boot. There's a little one there. Otherwise, really, really tidy. Both the rear lights are crystal clear. They are LED rear lights on this one. Quite a good sized boot in these, there's a couple of marks on the carpet. It doesn't have a spare. It has a pump and some uh, 
some of that um, gel stuff you put in the tire, the battery's in the boot here as well. But uh, all nice and tidy. There is one scratch I forgot to mention up here on, on the top of the boot lid, which again, I'm pretty confident we're gonna be able to get out. Around to the near side, it does have, I don't know whether I mentioned, uh, front and rear parking sensors. Near side rear quarter is really tidy. Again, we've got an as new, as new wheel, new center cap. All the brakes, I should say, uh, I, I forgot to show you on the other side, but all the brakes have got lots of life in them. There's just the beginning of a lip on all four discs and the pads, see how thick the pads are there. That's the same all the way around. This tire, same as the other side. Lots of life in it. The passenger door has got a couple of little marks on. This one here, car park door dings, just where people have have just uh, touched them in car parks and stuff like that, which is for the the age of mileage, pretty much par for the course. Another good wing mirror. Front wing here, really good. And then another lovely 20 inch wheel. Yeah, just the beginning of a lip on there. And you can see these, these pads aren't old, look how thick they are. So yeah, externally for a, what is it? 11 year old car with, I think it's nudge, we'll just show you in a sec, but I think it's nudge just over 114,000. It's in, uh, it's in good shape. Inside, so we've got this lovely silver metallic over the black Dakota leather interior, which is in really good shape. Tiny bit of wear on the seat bolsters, which is what you would expect for this sort of mileage. The rear seats, I mean, nobody ever seems to really sit in the rear of convertibles like this, so the rear seats are in good shape. There is a scratch on that seat, I'll show you now probably where one of the previous owners has moved something yeah, just here look um, it's not torn through the lever it's just a scratch on the top um, both the door cards are good and the driver's seat it's going back into a memory position which I'm not going to be able to get into so it does have electric memory seats and the driver's seat, yeah, just a bit of cracking on the bolster and on this one, but nothing, uh, nothing serious. These seats are super comfy as well. Let's get in and we will start it up. So it does have auto Xenon headlights. It's got the white LED DRLs. And inside it's, it's just got general sort of wear and tear. It's, it's a bit of wear on top of this. And this is aluminium hexagon, I think they call it which has got a bit of wear in the high traffic areas like around here. But all the switch gears in good shape. The leather multifunction steering wheels in really good shape. It's got the flappy paddles on for the super smooth eight speed gearbox. Do have dual zone climate control with aircon. Now the only thing in here which is broken is this vent. So this bottom slat has come out because this little bit of plastic here has snapped. So I've got a whole new one of these coming. So that will be replaced before it goes to anyone. We do have the Pro Nav, uh, heated front seats. Um, it's got Bluetooth for phone calls and it will stream music via Bluetooth as well. Let's start her up. So it starts first time. It's come up with a warning because it's bloody freezing. Let's turn that down. Let's go. So it does have DAB radio. The sun, well, this, the sort of sun is shining on the screen, which isn't helping. But we've got full postcode nav. Um, everything in here works as it should. The heated seats are going to turn on because they're wonderful on a cold day like today. It does have the auto hold feature. We've got the different driving modes. Got an electrically adjustable steering column. It does have cruise control. Four electric windows. Five actually, because the rear uh, window comes down out of there. Well, this do, this car does have because it has comfort access. The previous owner put in a secondary immobilizer, so these these little fobs you just have to have on your person, 
um, so you could just put one in your wallet or in your bag or whatever um, but if this isn't inside the car when you pull away it will cut out so really good deterrent um, stop people stealing it I've left them in there for now it's uh, got a nice armrest here bit of storage underneath all nice and clean there is a aux in and a USB in there as well let's uh, let's show you the roof going up so it's got a black uh, fabric roof which is quite a big roof but I'm always amazed with how quickly they work here it comes even on a very cold day like today just let it complete its thing and I'll get out and show you the show you the roof let's get out of here it's in park yep so yeah it's got a lovely no, that window's not shut. Got a lovely black um, fabric roof. There's no rips or tears in it or anything. It's in actually pretty good shape. Um, probably do with another bit of a jet wash, but otherwise, yeah. Doesn't make any noise. Goes up and down exactly as it should. And it's cracking. Twin turbo, three litre, straight six diesel. One of my all-time favourite engines. Well, there it is. Our 2012 640D M Sport convertible.